Corey Wong over on guitar right over there. Corey, thank you for joining us this week. And thank you. And thank you, not only thank you for being here and playing, it's always lovely to have you here, but thank you for always coming dressed as a business casual gondolier. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> thank you. That's, I knew there was something that was familiar to me about that outfit. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. My first guest tonight is a comedian, author, and the former host of The Daily Show. Please welcome back to The Late Show, it's Trevor Noah. <laughs> Steven. Nice to see you, too. Thank you for dressing for the occasion. I tried. Not everybody understands. On a late-night show, you should wear a coat and tie. No, I mean, this is... I, I, I a hoodie. I like this, you know? I mean, yep. the hoodie days are over for me. I, uh... I know. Well, actually, they've just begun. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, congratulations on your, your post-Daily Show career. Thank you, my friend. Congratulations you on your much. run over there for thank the you past very seven much. years. Thank you. Definitely made the place your own. Thank you very much. And thank you, thank you for the support from the beginning. Oh, really you, you got it, brother. So now, uh, you, you hosted your last Daily Show, as the people who don't know, last, last month. Yes. Do you ever, even at this point, because after seven years, doing 160 a year, something like right, that, right. you wake up in the, you ever wake up in the morning and go, what am I doing on the show tonight, before you realize you don't have to do that tonight? No, you know what? That, that took, I would say, two weeks. Yes. And then I realized, oh, no, I don't need to know. I just don't need to know. Do you not follow the news? No, I follow the news, but I don't need to know. And I don't. I can choose when to follow the news. So before it was, you know what it's like. Wake sure. up. What's the news? Go to sleep. Oh, what's go to the bed news? before Everything, you go to bed. You're everything is the news. Yeah. Is the news. I was, I was telling someone backstage. You know, like I remember there was one Met Gala after party I was at, and you at this event. It's amazing. Everyone's having a good time. You know, there's people dancing. There's Rihanna. There's Harry Styles. And I'm in the corner. I'm like, is the filibuster tomorrow? What is happening tomorrow? <laughs> I gotta remember what's happening. Oh yeah, the death ceiling. Is that what's it's, it's wow. like? No, no. Wow. So now I decide when to yeah. consume. News. You're a really good dancer, by the way. Even, uh, thank you very even much. Fake dancing. That's, that's that was my, really good. That's my. Uh, that was really nice. Thank you, thank you very much. That's my. So let me ask you. So that's what's hard about it. What did you love about it? I mean, number one, the people. Mm -hmm. The people you got to work with. Yeah, the people I got to work with. You said something that inspired me for my entire run at the Daily Show. You were doing an event. I think it was in New Jersey. You were at a fundraiser, mm -hmm. and uh, I listened to the audio from this. And this was maybe right before I started hosting the Daily Show. Yeah. And you said that people mistake the joy that you express, uh, express on the show as you having j the, the joy of doing the show on television. But actually what this is, is a manifestation of the joy that you've experienced creating the show with the people you created with. Exactly. I, I say, yeah. we do the show for each other all day. Yeah, and then and you get to share it. it's my responsibility this is the sharing. privilege yes. to share with the audience what we already did with right. each other today. Like all the things that everyone here experienced live that yes. maybe people on TV won't. Like, yes. we share that, right? Yes. And then the things that you and the writers experienced, that's, mm -hmm. that's everything. I'll miss all of that. I'll miss the people. I'll miss the culture. I'll miss the vibe. What about the grind? Because I remember I when you were just... I will not miss the grind. Mr. the grind because no. we were having dinner together. Somebody else was having a dinner party. We were both invited yes. to it in the spring yes. of 16. And we'd both, we were both in our jobs about the same time. Right. And, and I said, so what, what, how's it going? And you said, I'm paraphrasing here, was like, I did not expect the pace to be this relentless. No. And I said, well, you got to kind of love the grind. You have to like, kind of eat the grind. It has to kind of feed you. Yeah. And you have to lean into all that stress and anxiety. For, you for, people, for people who don't understand what this is like, making a daily television show in many ways is like planning a wedding. Imagine planning a wedding. So you're thinking, who are the guests? What are you going to wear? What's going to happen? Who's going to be making a toast? What will the speeches be about? What, what's everybody eating? Who's sitting where? How's it all going? And the wedding happens, and then you go, all right, we're doing another wedding tomorrow. <laughs> and it's like... You got about you, five minutes You don't even the get to have a honeymoon. To There's no honeymoon. That's There's it. no moment. So, so yeah. I, I, I do miss the discipline. I do miss the joy that came from cracking that nut every single day. Yes. But I don't miss the grind. I miss thinking about things more as well now. So something happens, and now I miss... Like, I enjoy the fact that I just get to sit and be like, huh. I don't have an opinion yet. <laughs> I just well, don't have an opinion lovely. yet. That sounds lovely. Uh, what about how often did you get back to South Africa? I know when you first started, you were going back a ton. Yeah, I was, and that's that's every probably... weekend. No, no, no. I, I used to I used to go back every every third weekend. Every, but yeah. still a lot. It's not. I mean, but it's home. It's a sixteen hour flight. Yeah, but that's like driving through the tunnel. <laughs> I guess so. That's fair. That's Once you're fair. in, you're in. That's fair. We have to take a quick break. Stick around. We'll be right back with more Trevor Noah, that guy right there.